Welcome sa sip9.com. Uh, in this video ay mag-aaral tayo ng uh, more on sets, no? Uh, meron na tayong dalawang previous videos. So, uh, I suggest na kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yun, kung uh, gusto nyo panoorin yung video na to ay dapat uh, panoorin nyo muna yung dalawang yun dahil uh, very important yung prerequisite nito ang i-discuss natin ngayon, no? Now, suppose we have the set A and we have set B, no? So, ang set B ay Uh, meron tayong elements na 2, 3, 5, and 9. No? Kama ito ha. Baka malito kayo. This is kama. And of course, set B uh, has elements 4, 5, 9, and 13. Ngayon, ang um, siguro ang pinakauna nyo mapapansin is that merong pareho no? dun sa set A tsaka sa set B. No? So, yung, yung 9 tsaka yung 5. So, ang tawag natin dyan ay yung intersection. No? The intersection of set A and B ay yung mga elements na na 5 at saka 9. No? So, sa set notation, no? ang uh, ang intersection ay para siyang baliktad na yun no? oh it's, it's really hard to create so basta ganyan so intersection of A and B is equal to 5 and 9 no? so I think this is very intuitive no ibig sabihin Ibig sabihin, ang uh, intersection ng A and B ay yung pareho sila meron. No? The, the elements that are co common to both sets, no? yung A and B natin. Now, in general, no? the set, no? ito ang dapat nyo tandaan, the set of all objects Belonging to both sets, belonging to both sets A and B is called the intersection, the intersection of A and B. And, of course, we have already introduced the notation of the intersection of A and B, no? So, ibig sabihin, A, uh, intersection B, is a set such that X, no? Yung X natin ay element of A, no? Big na nakasama siya dun sa A. And at the same time, X is also an element of B. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, member siya ng both sets. Remember, ito and to and. Ibig sabihin, pareho dapat siyang member, no? Pareho siyang member ng dalawang sets na yun. Okay? So, I think we'll have uh, uh, one more example. For example, A, oh, bahay naman natin. Uh, C, for example, Talaga kung makagawa ng maayos na phrase, no? So, x such that x is a divisor of 8, for example. Ano ba yung mga divisors ng, ng 8, no? So, pwede natin siyang i-equate sa... So, yung ibig sabi para itong set na to. Ano ba yung divisors of 8? We have 1, we have 2, we have 4, and we have 8, no? And then we have set D, which is uh, x such that x is a divisor of 12. Divisor of 12. Ano yun? We have 1, we have 2, of course, uh, 12 divided by 3. Divisor din siya ng 3. And then we have 4. 
Of course, 5 hindi na. We have 6. And we have 12 itself. So, I hope wala tayo na miss. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Okay. So, anong common sa kanilang dalawa? What is C? Intersection D. Tignan natin. Using our uh, marker, we have 1. We have 1. We have 2. We have 2. Walang 3, so 4. We have 4. So, ang common lang sa kanila ay 1, 2, and 4. 1, 2, and 4. So, kung divisors ito, ang tawag natin sa C, common divisors, no? Pwede natin siya pangalanan kasi understood that these are the common divisors of, of uh, 8 and 12. Okay? So, I think that's it. Basta ang pinaka- uh, importante ay yung, yung intersection ng dalawang sets ay dapat nandun yung uh, element siya ng both sets. I think that's the main idea here. No? Okay, siguro uh, magkakaroon tayo ng mga examples later. Okay, so maraming salamat. See you and uh, uh, gusto ko yung invite sa signayan.com. No? Maka-type yung e-visit yan. Andiyan yung mga list ng videos natin.